Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Tuesday. We're going to take a look at the degree on the locks, how you need to pick the exact degree you need on a lock, and the degree on the retainer when choosing a retainer. Both of these locks have different degrees, and the retainer has a specific degree that we're going to put on this particular lock. We have three major degrees that we deal with in our industry. We have what's called a seven degree, super seven, and a 10 degree. Today we're going to look at a 10 degree and we're going to look at a super seven. So when you actually put the retainer and the lock together, this is a square type lock, Chevy groove. This should fit nicely because this is a super seven lock to a super seven retainer. This should have a nice snug fit on there shouldn't be any type of movement when actually placing this on the valve, retainer, and lock. You guys can take a look at that. Nice flush area on the top where that lock is sitting on there and then as well as the back. You guys can see that the back area is nice and flush on the retainer area. So this is a proper fitment when you're actually pulling up on the retainer and the lock should lock nice in place. I'm actually pulling on it now. If I pull it here with my fingers outward and pull it sideways with my thumb, shouldn't have any movement in there. No movement at all. Now, if we pick the improper lock degree and place it on the same Super 7 retainer, so we're gonna throw on here a 10 degree lock with a Super 7 retainer. So you guys will see now how much this actually moves in that area. So I can grab this retainer with the lock area and literally wiggle this thing back and forth. All this movement occurring at 9,000 RPM. That would be just catastrophic to the engine because eventually, I have a sample here of a customer's engine that actually failed in the groove area because he had the lock was basically put on there with the retainer and the lock was actually off only one degree off and it ended up failing the groove area completely so it took off the tip area first of the valve and then the lock actually was hanging in there believe it or not he was able to shut it down completely and it just tweaked the valve slightly on the exhaust side and he was able to save the engine in that area so very important guys to pick the right degree lock with the right degree retainer to avoid any of these areas obviously having a catastrophic failure within the engine. If you guys have any comments please leave them there and like or share our video and uh, thanks for watching guys.